Everything's in order. These guys should know their way home, even if your guests don't. Matter right, if we get going round one ish, we should be with the main hunt for two. Should give us enough time. Now, you sure there's no last minute uh, car shifting or bag carrying in any way? You still going on about that? Can't you just let it go and enjoy the ride like everyone else? They're too busy making sure they don't fall off, especially the kings. <laughs> be ready. And you're supposed to be enjoying yourself, but you're not doing a very good job of it so far, are you? Well, I'd rather hope that I wouldn't have anything to worry about. What? Oh, not this P.I. business. I'm starting to wonder if it isn't all a waste of money. My money. I seem to remember that it was your idea in the first place. Look, we haven't got anything yet, but we will. Now? I know we don't like her, but... She's not that stupid. Not this close to the wire. Which is why I'm in a bad mood. So why don't you get dressed and let me worry about it? Uh, I don't want Dad marrying Charity any more than you do, but I'm not having his wedding spoiling over something that might not exist. You see, that's the difference between you and me. Neither of us want him to get married, but I'm the one who's prepared to do something about it. If it's happening, which it is, he deserves our support, not us trying to pull the rug out. Look, Jimmy, I want Tom to be happy. I really do. There's no harm in taking out a little insurance. Oh. Just going spare, Charles, keep trailing around like I'm on a lead. Yesterday it was Grandad and now it's Lisa. Yeah, well, you're just going to have to put up with it for a bit, aren't you? Because moaning about it's not going to change anything. Do us a tea cake as well, will you, love? I just want to go and find Nanda so I can talk to him and see what's going on. Well, you can't, so get used to it. Well, how about if you said you needed something from home and I could go and get it for you? Oh, I don't know, Chaz. Just something that's going to get me out for ten minutes. So I could at least go to the phone box and ring him. Wow, what's happened to your mobile? Grandad took it off me. You know, it's unbelievable. Even locked up murderers get to ring people. No, ask Lisa if you want to go somewhere. Whose side are you on? The side that doesn't go behind the rest of your family's back so that you can go and do the one thing that they've told you you can't. Stop mothering me, Debbie Love. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Cheers, Emily. Two teas, a lemonade, two scones. I'll bring you tea cake over. How come you're open anyway? Well, according to Mrs. Holt, because everywhere else is shut. <laughs> Look at their face on your gym. The more he tries to do cool, the more it looks like total panic. That's the difference between him and our Matthew. Look, he can't stand all this. He's going to look good even if it kills him. Yeah, which it might, but as long as you don't come back in plaster, I'm not bothered. Well, not the speed I'm going at, love. This is just a pub crawl with helmets, as far as I'm concerned. So we can't convince you to come with us, Charity? Oh, hey, if you want to chase a piece sort rag halfway around Yorkshire, that's your decision. I shall be stopping in and adding a few extra bits to my wedding dress, probably, and then who knows what you repeats on telly. Right. Had investigated. Right, well, I'll see you when I get back. Yeah, I better go and watch after uh, watching Sundance, eh? <laughs> right, she'll be at home on her own all day, so there's no excuse. There's plenty of time. The party doesn't start until the hunt gets back. Listen, Kane, don't mess it up again. It's far too cold to be out on the streets this time of year. Right, this time for one last trip before we set off, everyone. Main hunt won't wait for stragglers. Does that mean we'd have to come back and drink more? Uh, well, you would mind. Fine. Thank you. Been a bit tasty in the old jumpers, your boss. I'd concentrate on keeping your own backside on that rather than looking at everybody else's. No problem, mate. I've been doing a bit of that horse whispering, haven't I? Eh? Told him he's a cat food by morning if he don't behave himself. Hey, our kid. All you've got to remember is keep your wrists up and your back straight. Shut your face, you. Well, you're not enjoying yourself. Sadie, look after him, will you? All that bouncing up and down. Uh, by the way, it's a new job. I'm glad you like them. Is it me, or am I getting that deja vu thing? Well, it turned out Mrs. Ort wanted to open, but nobody else wanted to do the work part. Oh. If I'd known, we could have nipped through. Oh, what, I miss that lovely walk. Your face will get stuck like that if you're not careful. What does it matter? Never going to get any boy friends, am I? Oh, give it a rest. I hear you're back in with Zach and Lisa, Debbie, but that would be nice for Belle. Uh, would you fetch us a pint of milk, please, Emily, love? Oh, great. 
I'll be in the pub if you need me. Oh, you think I'm enjoying this? Here, Elle, go and have a look what's in Emily's ten pence tray. You're allowed in the shop? Yeah, but only for shopping, mind. I didn't know you were going to be in here. Yeah, well, two minutes more and we won't be. No, here, you can stop here. I'm that busy, I keep forgetting. I haven't said Happy New Year yet. <coughs> Come see everything's in order before the big day. As far as I know it is. But there's bound to be something we missed. Why don't you come in? You can tell me the appeal of fox hunting. Sorry, wrong vicar. Oh, no, it's drag hunting. Hey, you don't think they're chasing a bloke in the front, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on. You ready, Tom? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Lead on. Everything okay? No problem. Looking forward to it. Um, not so worrying about charity, are you? Quite the opposite, actually. I was just thinking how much I've done her a disservice by mistrusting her. And if you'll pardon the expression, I think it's time to call the dogs off, don't you? Oh, well, I don't think we should do that until we're absolutely sure. We? Well, you just enjoy yourself. That's what you come out for, isn't it? Right, Ashley, can we get anything else? A biscuit, perhaps? Bought with my own fair hand? <laughs> no, thanks. I'll finish this and I'd better get back. Well, go on, then. Ask me, because that's what you're here for. Ask you what? Oh, come on, Ashley. Am I sure I'm doing the right thing, all of that? Are you sure you're doing the right thing? Absolutely, 100%. Definitely more certain than I've ever been about anything in my whole life, thanks. That covers it, I suppose. Do you believe me? You know, I think I do. Well, it's just as well, cos it's true. I've slipped it once too often in my life, and you know what? I'm ready for a change. No way am I going to make a pig's ear out of this one. In fact, I'm that keen, I think I'm making Tom nervous. <laughs> Best start playing it cool for a bit, eh? I'd stick to what you're doing, cos you're obviously doing something right. I'm very pleased for you. Me too. Hey, it's good, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't let's have a row, Andy. We're going home, and so should you be. Leave well alone, eh? All I want to do is talk. We've done enough of that. Oh, Lisa, will you just leave us alone, please? We're in the street talking. Nothing's going to happen. Just wait there where you can see us. How many times do you need telling both of you? Go on, Andy. You can only make things worse. I can't, though. What's worse than this? Shouting, fighting and screaming. That's all it's come down to. I've had enough, Debbie. I can't get anywhere like this. Well, I'm not giving up, so why should you? I'm the one that has to live with them all. There's no need for that. Yes, there is, Lisa. Cos it's like you're trying to keep me in a prison where you can't. It's not just about me. I've got Dad to think about as well. What's he got to do with anything? This is about you and me. I wish it were. I don't care about anybody else right now. I do. I have to. That's it. I'm sorry, Debbie. I've had enough. Andy? I'm sorry. Andy, you're serious, aren't you? Andy! Come on, No, love. just leave it! Let's no, get, get lost, Lisa! You make me sick, all of you. You came. You got nothing better to do. I just want to talk, that's all. Come on, is that but surely? The thing is, you're making a misguided assumption we've got so much to talk about. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, this stuff with Debbie. I've blown it with her, I know. And whose fault is that, eh? Kane, the sooner you start treating people like human beings, the more chance you've got of getting on with them. And who treats me like a human being, eh? You? I don't think so. Listen, you've had your chance. In fact, more times than I can remember, so just go away and... 
and leave me alone. Hey. You're looking pretty good, by the way. <sighs> well, maybe it's because I'm happy, Kane. How weird is that? Shame I've never had that effect on you. Or have I? I don't know. Well, like I said, you had your chance, didn't you? Everybody would be better off if I just disappeared and didn't come back, wouldn't they? Correct. You mean that? I'm amazed you have to ask. Well, before I go, then. What the hell are you doing, Kate? You don't be good to me. Goodbye, kiss, dear. After all have that. Have you totally lost it? You haven't. Just back off, will you? You are wasting it on a geriatric. Look, you touched me again, and I'll have your eye out with this key, right? I mean it now. Go away! Hey. Say hello to your fiance for me, won't you? <laughs> Why? Some of us might not pass a breath, Eliza, but we all managed. Yeah, speak for yourself. <coughs> oh, well, it's got to beat golf, James. At least you get an intelligent partner. <laughs> so, Charity, did you manage to stay out of trouble, all on your own? Had tea with the vicar, if that counts. If you can lead your mounts back to the stable, folks, I'll take it from there. And drinks are in the lounge before dinner, as soon as you're all changed. At least you'll be able to stand up for a bit, Jimmy. You've changed your tune. Couldn't have got you up in a chair last week, let alone a saddle. Why do you think you'd pay for all them expensive riding lessons? Did you have to? Yeah. Will I? You take him through. There's something I need to do. Love to. Let me know earlier. I could have helped her out, the poor little love. If I've had poor little love, she's brought this on herself. She won't be at first, and she probably won't be at last. Well, I'm not mad about others. It's what happens with ours. And Debbie is not doing it. And at 15, and not with Andy Sugden. I bet she thought it were her and Andy against the world. Well, now she hasn't even got that. That's why I feel sorry for her. If he's dumped her, she's better off out of his road. <laughs> Hi, hi, eh? Is there any tea on? Lisa's busy, but seeing you two have had such a hard day sitting in the pub, I've come to get it started for you. Ooh, this is what you look for in a woman, Sammy. <laughs> and she says you're to have a bath. Oh, well, that's her New Year's resolution for you. Hey, I have a bath every year whether I need it or not. Yeah, well, go and get one now, then. And you can try your wedding suits on the pair of you. Not having you looking like a couple of refugees fell off a flitted. I, I aren't getting in the bath after him again, no way. Huh? Well, there's a sink there. What's up with you? Shift them pots off the draining board, you'll be all right. To put Emily's hair, though. Well, I promise not to look. Her, her husband's a vet. She's seen it all before. Go on. I'll fetch your loofah. Well. It's a toss-up between the jumpers and the evening dress. But I prefer to think of it as a class act, simple as that. I don't doubt it. The perfect front for every occasion. Well, I wouldn't lose any sleep over the sort of occasion you've got in mind. Men aren't generally invited. <laughs> Scott Windsor managed it. Not much of a man, I grant you, but fair play to him. He blazed a trail for others to follow. And that would be the extent of your interest, would it? Be a start. Don't say it's never occurred to you. Yeah, well, I'm staff. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I got the prints to you first thing in the morning. <laughs> I reckon there's about ten you can use. Oh, yes. Well, I do like the one where she's taking a swing at him. <laughs> Whatever that's about. Oh. Nothing surprises me anymore in this job. 
Yes, well, look, uh, call me before nine and I'll come and meet you. And Colin, well done. Finally. Got there in the end, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Told you I'd sort it, didn't I? Yeah. It's a shame that punch didn't connect. I'd have framed that one. I must be losing my irresistible charm. Something like that. I'll have the rest of the money for you by tomorrow. I wonder what you'd have done. Excuse me? I can't see you throwing punches somehow. Well, I'd advise you not to speculate. So? So? You go off to your fancy party now. Mm-hmm. And I go on without, do I? Fifty. To be going on with. And, uh, again. Don't spend it all at once, hmm? Hmm. All I'm saying is it's not every day I get jealous of a horse. You'll have to be more precise. You know. No, I don't. Go on. Saddle. The um, occasional flick of the crop. The jodhpurs. <laughs> all right, all right, I give in. <laughs> Listen, if you are going to do the macho thing, you have to be prepared to follow it through. You're not all shrinking violets, you know. <laughs> <laughs> have you, uh, have you got a minute? Mm. Hello. Get us another drink, shall I? Oh, lovely. What's wrong? Sure, you just look like you needed rescuing, that's all. Everything was perfectly under control, if you must know. And, um, I'm not actually sure why you think you need to know in the first place. I was just trying to be helpful. I don't do knights in shining armour, Callum. There's the gender problem for a start. Listen, believe it or not, I do actually get chatted up from time to time, men, Women, it does happen. And sometimes I'm actually interested. And when I'm not, I don't need any help in letting anyone know. Have you nothing else to do? No, I'm sure I could find something. Sorry for not knowing my place. Um, everyone, if you would like to come through to the dining room. Oh, aye, right, right. Come on, go, go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Where am I? Um, you're down the far end. I'm going to have to shout. Does everyone know where they're sitting? Next to your beloved, I think. If I could just say a few words before we all settle down. I know you must all be starving after your day's exertions. Mm -hmm. Only those who manage to do more riding than drinking. <laughs> Not many, then. <laughs> it's a good job we didn't have to catch what we're going to eat. <laughs> We'd still be out there now. You would. Can somebody get our Jimmy an extra cushion? <laughs> <laughs> Will you manage with that knife and fork, or do you need lessons? Oh. So, anyway, all I wanted to say was Happy New Year. Yep. Yeah. Happy, Happy New, New Year. 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 Mm. And also, thank you all so much for coming and making this such a special occasion. Oh, and more importantly, can we raise our glasses to Charity and Tom and wish them all the very best for the future? Charity is top. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, nobody noticed. Where have you been? Tending to unavoidable business with some success, as it happens. So, have I missed anything? You don't have to stand like you've left the hangers in. Relax. If I don't pull in this, I'm telling you, no woman's safe. <laughs> Hang on while I ring that George Armani. They might be looking for a couple of muggles. <laughs> go, go and see to me chickens. Hey, not like that, you don't, lad. No, go on. Before Lisa comes down and starts all that uh, nipping and tucking, you look smashing. Now, go on, get them off. <laughs> That's what them babes will be saying when me and Sam turns up, innit, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a shame. They look like an accident at Burton's window. Yeah, <laughs> but who are we to shatter their illusions, eh? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I shall sleep tonight. As far as animals are concerned, I'll keep to eating them in future. <laughs> Stick to what you're good at. <laughs> you know, we really should say a few words for Zoe, having gone to all this trouble. Good point, love. Oh, would you mind if I do it? No, not at all. You'd probably do a much better job than I would, love. Good. Right. Well, um, first of all, I think we'd all like to thank Zoe for her wonderful hospitality. Mm. So, thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a fantastic day and one I'm sure we'll all remember for a long time. I know I will. <laughs> um, I'd also like to offer my best wishes, along with those of everyone here tonight, to the bride and groom. Don't jump the gun, love. She could be sick of me by Tuesday. Never. <laughs> Especially if she has to help carry you home. <laughs> no, seriously. Charity, you look lovely. And Tom, you've never seemed happier. And I'm sure it's because you're so obviously perfect in each other's company. So if Zoe doesn't mind, I would like to propose another toast. No, not at all, because there's plenty more wine he's drinking before morning. Hey, excellent. <laughs> to a long and happy future, then. And the best wedding day anyone could ever wish for. Tom and Charity, the happy couple. The happy couple. The happy couple. 